Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 111 and we are going to talk about leading by feel. And this is the time that we are going to start the discussion related to emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is required by the leaders to manage and lead the employees and the followers in a rightful manner because that is the competency which is going to create the difference. When we talk about emotional intelligence, there are different things that we need to understand. First of all, the foremost important thing is that the values held by the leaders are going to be the values the organization is going to establish. Secondly, we have to understand that the mood of the leader, the way he or she is going to interact with the followers is the way organization is going to develop its mood, the culture and the value system held by the employees. Another important thing is that when we talk about emotional intelligence, remember that emotional intelligence is a blend of psychological abilities and those psychological abilities may include self-awareness and empathy predominantly. And along with these two, we also need to have self-control, we also need to have motivation and obviously we need to have social intelligence as well. Then again we have to remember that every person in the organization, in the general life is having certain level of emotional intelligence with them and that is in their nature. Once the person is having emotional intelligence in his or her nature, the second step would be that with the passage of time through training, through mindful exercises, the person needs to develop the emotional intelligence to higher levels. That is the context we need to talk about under the expression of nurture, that we, we need to nurture the emotional intelligence. Another important thing is that we have to see that what is the genetic predisposition, what are the life experiences the person is going to have in his or her life and what are the trainings that he or she has gone through. Because definitely life ke jo experiences or life ke jo accidents or incidents hote hain, wo ek shaks ko mold or develop wo karte hain. And they are all going to have their impact on emotional intelligence. Then there is another important thing that leaders apply it to the superior, to have the superior organizational performance. And obviously when we talk about performance in management sciences, we are talking about productivity, profitability and satisfaction of the stakeholders. And emotional intelligence is a direct way to achieve that satisfaction. Now remember, when we are talking about emotional intelligence, the first thing we need to understand is that the importance of having conscious and conscientious perspectives are important to establish emotional intelligence. Secondly, we need to understand that the self-awareness, which is an important component of social intelligence, is basically a double-edged sword. It is important for you to be self-aware, but sometimes if your self-awareness is not controlled, it might be giving you the signals of negative personality aspects as well, which might reduce your self-esteem. So we have to be careful about these things. Another important thing related to the emotional intelligence is basically the danger of letting one, any one component of emotional intelligence predominantly superseding your role being a leader. For example, you are predominantly having self-awareness or self-control or empathy or motivation or for that matter social intelligence. If the rest of the components of social intelligence are not moving along, one component in its dominant position is going to create distraction and the leader might not be able to come up with the right context in which he or she must be interacting with the followers. Dear students, if we conclude the whole situation, if we conclude the whole discussion, remember that we need to see that sometimes when the leaders are using emotional intelligence, they have to use that intelligence in a controlled manner. No doubt, IQ is also important, but EQ is having a more importance as compared to organizational interaction, interdependence with the leader and the follower role. 